about to go walk in and take a look at the 2022 Heartland Bighorn Traveler 37 TB. You've been waiting for that vacation home? Guess what? Cousin Chris is about to take you right into it. We're gonna walk up these beautiful, solid step over steps that are strut supported. Coming in to my man Fritz and the beautiful Bighorn Fritz, just do a sweep. Take a look. Now, the one thing that I gave many kudos to Heartland for with the Bighorn, the Bighorn Travelers, was they did this black and tan interior last year. For 2022, they decided to step up the game a little bit, and they gave us this really rustic uh, interior. It looks like a cabin. It's bright. It's airy, but we still have some of those dark features, the black accents that really give us that aesthetic look when we want to have our vacation home. And one thing I want you to notice, too, you got over six feet, five inches of clearance on these slides. And take a look at these edges on the slides. They miter these together. There's not a block like you see with most manufacturers. Bam, bam, together. Good and good looking. Now, Fritz, I'm going to start right over here in the kitchen because, as Trish mentioned, this does have a island kitchen. Since we do have the opposing slides really opening up the living area, solid surface island kitchen right here with the farmhouse style undermounted stainless steel matte black sink. This is nice because it matches the decor. A lot of times you just get that, you know, stainless steel look. Nope, apron, black, love it. High rise faucet with the sprayer, plenty of prep space right here. You got the 14.9 cubic foot hair residential fridge freezer combo with the double doors down there, ice tray, door down here. Got your little zones right there to get your temperature going. I'm a big fan of hair because it is residential, they're frost resistant, uh, but space and style. So if you really wanna do that extended camping season, you can. And then we come over here to some of the pantry doors. You're gonna notice you got those hideaway hinges in here, plenty of space, plus there is a shelf, so it's not just an open spot, kind of making it disjointed if you wanna use it as pantry or any other type of storage. Now come over here to my cooktop. And you're gonna notice a pattern here with this almost herringbone style flow like we have here on the backsplash. You're gonna see that all the way throughout on the walls, on some of the frosted glass inlays. Beautiful and pleasing, plus it matches the flow. Flush mounted suburban high output cooktop here with the grill style grate. Got the oversized oven right there. Plus you got the pull out drawer storage and more storage over here, solid wood construction. There's my drying rack for my sink, full extension on the ball bearing drives. You do have the easy to clean bow floor through here and carpetless slides. I'm a big fan of that. Add that to the fact that it's easy to clean the floor, easy to clean the slide. Your camping experience is gonna be that much more enjoyable. Up top, I got me some residential style LED sconces. Got the little farm style LED light over here over my freestanding dinette with the live edge and the expandable leaf. So we do have four chairs for this one. We just set out the two. The other two are underneath the master bed, but take a look at the chairs. Rustic in appearance, and they look like just regular old, you know, standard. Oh, that looks like something I have in my cabin. They do fold up so you can store them away. It kind of matches this beautiful decor like we have here on the front of the island as well. I got myself. A wireless charging plate, you'll find one of these inside the kitchen and one of these inside the bedroom as well. There's that frosted glass inlay, the decor matching the flow of this. You'll see some storage here. My main com control panel, so I cut on my tank heater. You do have tank heaters on these, the 12 volts. You also have the water heater. You got hydraulic slides on this one on the main, electric slides on the top. Uh, and this does have a, a, a hydraulic lift system, a leveling system that has 60,000 pounds of lift on it. Why? <laughs> Why not? Come over here to the entertainment center. I got my 50 inch TV on the swivel and you'll notice the sound bar is built in. Dual zone, FM radio, Bluetooth, front and rear HDMI, plus it has USB charging all right there. You don't have some speakers inset or a sound bar that just happens to be somewhere. Everything is together. Oversized glass fireplace there, which is electric. You do have uh, so you got a 15,000 BTU main AC and a 13,5 BTU uh, AC in the bedroom, plus a 35,000 BTU furnace inside of this. Add that to this fireplace and this 42 foot, five inch, roughly 9,740 pounds fifth wheel. You can keep this going deep into three seasons because we also got that Asdale wall, which we're gonna talk about on the outside. Sealed, laminated, full profile, and absolutely beautiful. Pull out sleeper sofa right there. 
surrounded by some large panoramic windows and some more storage with that beautiful rustic appearance. I, I like how the manufacturers are switching to this type of style because it really does make you feel like you have your own vacation home. Plenty of room, hideaway hinges, which is a calling card to good manufacturing, solid wood balances. And since the 37TB is a bunkhouse fifth wheel with a bath and a half, look at what they've done to the bunk room. You got some strut supported storage under your bunk here, which is a full size. You got tons of storage, which really kind of opens up the options for this 37 TB. I mean, usually bunks, you have like a twin over twin or double over double. You pretty much have a separate suite back here because you do have a 50 by 74 loft bed up here, 300 pound capacity, could probably get two adults up there fairly. Easy access, getting up, solid, sturdy ladder there. Once again, the decor matching, really making it feel like I'm in my own apartment. Plus you got the 110 power port right there on my nightstand with some more storage underneath. And then coming to the half bath, porcelain bowl, high rise with the foot flush, plenty of room, solid surface on my countertop, decorative vanity sink, plus storage underneath. Medicine cabinet there with some raised lips, giving me some additional security when I'm traveling and access point so that you have uh, a good spot. If you do bring the family along, you got the kids, maybe it's bigger kids, or you got double families that are sharing a vacation space. They can come and go as they please. They're not gonna wake anybody up either in the living area or in the master because you got that good separation of space, all separated by solid doors. And you know, when it comes to uh, multi-living areas, I'm big on the separation of space because sure, having an RV is the safest way to see America. It, it is, your home, you can take it wherever you want to go and you're not sinking money into a timeshare or a spot that, you know what? Sure, we got a place at the lake, but man, I want to go to the beach. I want to go to the mountains. I want to take that hunting trip with the family, with my cousins, my friends. I want to do that ladies wine weekend and do that wine tour. You have the option to do that with your RV and you get that separation of space because this one will sleep eight people comfortably and just look at all the room and style that we have. Pantry space there, more storage there, storage there. Solid, beautiful steps leading me up into the front cap where we have the master bathroom with the porcelain bowl with the foot flush. I got my shower, as we say in South Boston, because you know, sometimes we don't really pronounce properly. Bench seat, plenty of headroom. I got the little skylight inlay right here. My matte black features on my shower handle, corner notches. Great 36 by 48 space inside of here with the glass enclosure. And once again, solid surface on my bathroom counter with the single basin vanity sink and another mirrored medicine cabinet. I mean, come on, man. This is, look, are you roughing it at this point? No, you're not. Because you got your separate AC 13.5 right here, the GE with the GE controls right there. King size bed nestled in its own slide. And Fritz, check this out. You got a little accent light right there around the headboard. Plus you got your mushroom lights reading there, dual USB charging on both sides. You got the raised solid surface spots right here. So if you need to set your cell phone down, you kind of have some nightstands. And I like how they're a little bit higher uh, than most because if you're turning around, you're not gonna hit your head on it. Got storage space underneath the master bed here. And you're gonna see there's our extra chairs right there. And double ward storage and washer dryer prep right over there in the front end cap. With the mirrored sliding doors, the mirrored ward doors. I got my chest of drawers right here with that wireless charging unit and my drive uh, portable speaker charging unit with dual USB right there as well, plus my Connects TV. I mean, for 42 feet, five inches, roughly 10,000 pounds dry, a family RV that is right for pretty much any family configuration where you're talking about being able to sleep eight people. You come outside, you're gonna see the beautiful graphics here. We do have the Asdale walls inside of this, which helps add to not only the safety and security, but the insulation as well. And what Asdale is, is it's a fiberglass coated graphite. You don't have any off gassing and you don't get any you know, bubbling or mold or anything like that because it, it doesn't hold water. Extra large grab handles like what you see on European uh, motorhomes, 
solid step over steps, heated and enclosed underbelly. And Kev, look at that right here. These aluminum rims, those Dexter Easy Lube axles, and the CRE 3000 suspension on this. Really giving you a safe and secure ride when going down the road. You got the outside kitchen with the Flame King two burner over here on the metal pedestal, plus the little Everchill fridge outside, because like I say, how can you have your outdoor bourbon without your outdoor fridge? You gotta have your three-finger pour. Coming on down, just love the look. 19-foot awning there with the Solera. 10-foot awning on the rear, both of them with the LED light strip, sealed safety windows that's tinted all the way around. Big old giant magnetic anti-slam doors with the covered hinges on it, and check out my store more storage with tri-access. Oh, okay, look, I've got a little charge panel right here for my high quality sound on the go. That hydraulic system I mentioned, man, 60,000 pounds. Because when I want to get set up at the campsite, I want to get set up in three seconds flat. I got fishing to do. What they did with this store more access, they dropped the generator box down and gave you access to the storage here and on the other side. And you're also going to get the uh, more ride easy roll for your cord. Come around here to the off camp side. We do have automatic leveling. There's the main panel. Right here is the main reset panel if you need it for the exterior. You got all of your water connections, your inlets, which are selectable by the switch here. External sprayer, black tank, plus winterization. Some cable connections, 110, strut supported sprayer port. Let me tell you. You're gonna get everything you want on this one. 